In this video, you will find three tips that will help you as a beginner in crypto, understand the market and avoid losing money, as well as potentially help you buy at a great time to maximize your profits. So whether you just started looking into crypto or you have been buying at the wrong times and losing money, the insights in this video will help you get the results that you're looking for. So right now I'm going to show you the first method to help you choose a good time to buy and sell in the market by identifying key support and resistance levels so take a look at this chart do you notice how we keep getting rejected from this very specific price level right here well this is what we call a zone of resistance so these resistance zones these resistance levels can help you understand why we are getting a rejection from certain levels and in the case that you do see a move above these zones of resistance then you know that the price is likely going higher until it reaches the next zone of resistance. So for example, in this chart, it would be right here. But now what do you do in the case that you do see the price coming back to this level of resistance and then actually getting rejected from it again, meaning that the price doesn't break above and it starts trading lower again? Well, in that case, we need to look for levels of support. As you can see, we have a bounce right here and then another bounce right here. So this has clearly been a price level where a lot of people wanted to buy Bitcoin, meaning that they forced the price to move back higher. So then coming back to this example, when the price starts trading lower again and it reaches this level of support, well, then we need to look for a potential bounce back to the upside. And in the case that the price does break through this level of support, well, then we need to look for the next level below that and we can expect to see the price moving even lower because there's no active level of support as soon as we break below this green box right here. And the way to identify these levels of support is by zooming out on, for example, the daily or weekly time frame. And you can see that, for example, right here at about 62,500, all the way down to $60,000, there have previously been a lot of buyers right here. So we were consolidating trading sideways in this range for a little bit. And then when we got a big crash down, you can also see that we found support at exactly this level. So again, if we break below this green box right here, well, then we can expect to see the price moving down lower to this support level right here. Because in this range in the middle right here, there are simply not enough buyers to support the price. Everyone's waiting for the price to move lower into this green box. So now that I have fully worked out these support and resistance levels, then suddenly the price action starts to make a lot more sense and you start to understand why we are seeing bounces and rejections from certain price levels. So in conclusion, by identifying key support and resistance levels, you can pinpoint the perfect moment to buy or sell, maximizing your gains and minimizing your losses. So if you want to learn more about the support and resistance levels, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on because I post a new video every single day discussing today's price action for the main cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana. Now let's get to tip number two, which is understanding market cap. And this is a crucial concept that will make or break your investing strategy in crypto because the price is not what it seems. Just because a coin is cheaper in dollar terms doesn't make it a coin with more potential or that you can make more money on it or even that it's actually cheaper because we need to look at the market cap. So it's not like the Bitcoin price is, as you can see right here, $68,000 and eventually all these other coins can reach the same price target because it all has to do with market cap and not necessarily with the price itself. For example, here you can see Dogecoin and then below that you see Cardano. And you can see that Cardano right now is 58 cents. However, the market cap is $20 billion. Now above that, you can see that you have Dogecoin at 18 cents, but the market cap is $26 billion. So there is actually $6 billion more invested in Dogecoin. However, the price is lower than Cardano. So what this tells you is that actually there is a lot more supply in terms of number of tokens for Dogecoin than there is for Cardano. 
So another reason why market cap is hugely important for your investing strategy is because if you are trying to double your money, for example, well, if you're investing in Dogecoin to do that, well, then in order for the price per coin to double, another $26 billion needs to be invested in Dogecoin. Whereas if you go down in this list, for example, and I'm just picking out a random coin here, but let's say you pick NEO, which is currently sitting at a $1 billion market cap and a price of $15. Well, let's say you're trying to double your money on this. Well, then the market cap only needs an additional $1 billion to double this price. And by the way, this is of course not me telling you to buy NEO or giving you financial advice or even saying that you just need to go to page number 96 and just buy the cheapest thing you can find. I'm simply telling you how market cap works, okay? You need to figure out for yourself what you want to do with that information. It's just important that you understand how it works. <clears throat> because for example, with a coin right here that has 2 million market cap, well, obviously the risk will be way higher than in a coin, for example, Bitcoin right here, that is at number one in terms of market cap, because so much more money has been invested in this than a coin that doesn't have that long history of success that Bitcoin does. So it's kind of comparable to investing in like a startup company as compared to investing in something like Apple. Apple has a proven track record and it's obviously a massive company. So it's theoretically less risky than investing in a startup. Now let's get to the third tip. However, I might have a fourth little bonus tip for you guys at the end, so keep watching. What we need to do for this third tip is to add an indicator to our chart. And the way you do this in trading view is you click at the top here at indicators and then you type relative strength index, which you can see right here. So then you click it and it gets added to the chart. So now allow me to explain this indicator. Whenever the RSI reaches a level above 70, it means that the price of whatever asset you're looking at, it means that the price action is currently overbought. So the market is getting a little bit too overheated. The price is moving up too quickly and therefore the RSI is showing overbought signals. However, as you can see right here on the left, Sometimes the RSI can just keep going up and up. And right here, it even reached 91 on the four hour time frame. So sometimes the RSI can stay in this overbought region for quite a while, but typically, eventually, it always comes back down. So whenever the RSI is above 70, it means we are in overbought territories. And whenever we are below 30, it means we are in oversold territories. So now how can you use the RSI in your investing and trading in crypto? Well, for example, right here, you can see in the short term for Bitcoin, the RSI reached a level below 30 on the RSI. So it was oversold. And when I made a video about it at the time, I told everyone like, hey, the RSI is in oversold territories. So likely we first need to see the RSI reset a little bit before the price can then continue lower or potentially just continue going up. And the way the RSI resets is by the price either chopping around sideways or the price going higher. So when the price goes higher, you see the RSI move up quickly. And when we are chopping around sideways, you see the RSI still trend up, but just more slowly. And this is because whenever the RSI is at about 50, it means the price action is neutral. Whenever the RSI is above 50, it means we are in an uptrend. And whenever we are below 50, it means that we are in a downtrend. So you can start to combine some of these indicators to understand whether it is a good time to buy or not. Because for example, let's say that the price is trading in this level of resistance and the RSI is at the same time already in overbought territories or just about to be in overbought territories. Well, in that case, maybe it would be best to just wait a little bit and see if we actually break the level of resistance before buying. Because otherwise you may see that the RSI just touches in this oversold territory and then starts trading down again, like you saw here, for example, and that is not good for the price action. So this is just something to keep in mind. And of course the opposite is also true, where if you are at a support level, and the RSI is in oversold territories, well, then you can expect to likely see a bit of a bounce to the upside. 
Now, lastly, I have a bonus tip for you, which is that you don't have to figure all of this out on your own. When I first started in crypto, I had to figure it all out on my own and I didn't have anyone around me to ask questions. This is why I created a crypto community on Discord, which you can join for free with the first link in the description or with the link in the pinned comments down below because everything becomes so much easier when you are a part of a community. And I've already made some friends in here that I can just ask questions if I don't know something. And I hope that you do the same as well, because this community right here is a great place to build and share your crypto knowledge, regardless of if you are a complete beginner or you have already been trading crypto for quite a while. Either way, this is a great place to network and meet like-minded, ambitious individuals. So go check out the server and subscribe if you want to see similar crypto related content and check out this next video that I created on the left side of your screen right now.